Welcome to the Brain Code Subject ID Naming Convention Training Module. Before getting started, please ensure you've completed the Brain Code Portal Overview Training Module. Today's training is intended for users entering subject IDs into data capture systems within Brain Code. Today's training will cover the significance of Brain Code Subject IDs and Subject ID Naming Convention Standards. Significance of Brain Code Subject IDs Subject IDs are an essential component for enabling the integration of different data types across platforms and systems within Brain Code. Within data capture systems, subject IDs follow a standard format to promote the harmonization of subject data throughout Brain Code. All participants will have a standard Brain Code ID. This ID will be used when entering data into any of the subsystems and as an integral component for the integration and federation of multiple data types. Errors in the subject ID will result in orphan data points that cannot be integrated with other data modalities. Now let's talk about subject ID naming convention standards. Each subject ID in Brain Code is a unique ID comprised of four elements. First, program ID. This ID is a three-letter abbreviation corresponding to the IDP. For example, CPNet is represented by CPN. Remember, if your IDP is not listed, you may contact your program manager or a Brain Code team member for the abbreviation. Next, the study ID is a unique identifier for a specific IDP study. In this case, 01. The study ID will be followed by an underscore. Afterwards, the unique identifier for the IDP recruiting site is represented by a three-character site code. The site code can be determined by either your IDP program manager or through contacting a Brain Code team member. In this example, we can see that Baycrest is represented by BYC. The site ID is also followed by an underscore. Lastly, the subject number is a four-digit numeric code sequentially assigned by the site or provided via a pre-populated list at the site. This just represents the subject's number for that site. Do you have any questions about this module? If so, contact us at help at braincode.ca. Next steps. Following this video, complete the quiz to finish the training module. Upon successful completion, you will be granted a portal account. Thank you for watching the Brain Code Naming Convention training video.